Let's go to Kat Kamek and then we'll go to the sheriffs. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, this is this is an issue that I think we could all go around and and talk about the statistics, which are frightening. I, I mean, it, it it blows your mind when you really start to think about you know 1.7 million that have just been apprehended, and you talk about the the amount of money that the cartels are making off of this. And you you all have heard me say this before. I I really do believe that it is a great day to be uh, a cartel member. Uh, if and it, because Americans right now, I mean, they're, I, I don't want to say clueless, but I think they're, they're very unaware of, of what is really, truly going on. But I want to talk to everybody about what uh, this reconciliation package in particular is going to do to our hometowns. When you combine the social uh, programs that will be stood up under this program, combined with the attempts on amnesty and the magnet that is going to draw in thousands, millions more people, um, it's, it's frightening. You combine that with the efforts to defund police. And I, and again, speaking as the wife of a first responder, my husband comes home and tells me the horror stories of the overdoses, of the constant attacks that he is seeing in our community, the rise in crime because the drugs are pouring in nonstop. And it's, it's, it's the really, truly nefarious things like fentanyl that we all know the statistics. We have had enough fentanyl come across the border just this year to kill every man, woman, and child in the state of Florida 16 times over. That's insane. And when you talk about the, the crime, the, the criminal elements, we know that there's uh, a 350,000 plus known gotaways. Those folks are landing in our district, and one example just from my little district, North Central Florida, there were two individuals that had been deported previously, snuck back into the country, double homicide, and they were headed back for the border. In fact, we were at the border when they were apprehended mm -hmm. in Missouri. These people are coming in, dealing in narcotics. Uh, they, the crime that is happening in our communities is a direct result of this administration's open border policies. And if you combine that again with the defund police movement, we all know that you can't protect your hometowns if you can't defend the homeland. And so this reconciliation bill is not just going to uh, tax and spend us uh, down the drain. This is going to make us more, more vulnerable than ever. And so that's why we have to start really screaming from the rooftops about the dangers of what these social programs are going to do, not just dollars and cents, but the effect that they're going to have in our hometowns.